So can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in music? So basically, it done started off once I done got kicked out, kicked out of college, actually. like I went, I used to go to SUNY Canton. I done went there for two years, got my associates, and then as soon as it didn't hit my soft, no, my junior year of my four years, I got called by university police or some shit. So at the end of the day, I, that done transpired. My parents done got tight. I had to go back to back to the hood. And after that, then that's when I decided, like, music got to be an option. I'm not working. So what are some of your influences when it comes to music? I ain't going to lie, my friends. My friends definitely inspire me a lot more than what mainstream artists do. So I definitely want, like, one of my friends is, like, Walking Tech. Walking Tech is definitely one of them. Um, Zelly, Zelly's 24K, Freedom, Free Both Walk, Free free Zelly. Um, and my daughter. My daughter definitely pushes me to do way more than what, I, what I've been doing. So, definitely those three, top three. So, when it comes to music, do you only listen to your music and your friend's music? Or do you have, like, a favorite artist outside of that? Um, I definitely want to give props to, like, Destroy Lonely, like, Sofago, um, Ken Carson, um, Young Dolph. Young Dolph definitely inspires me. Um, and a little bit of Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, definitely. And so when you're creating, like, when you go in the studio, how do you start, like, do you have a process? Like, do you like a lot of people there? Like, what's that process like? I don't like a lot of people there, actually. Like, a lot of people could could be, like, yes men, and they could just tell me anything I throw on a, on a track is good, but I just like to be in my own vibe, my own element, you know? Like, my process is just getting high and then just jumping on the mic when I do feel it. He got a slap. And so I know before we started the interview, we were talking a little about, like, Instagram and how it's easy to kind of, like, fake on Instagram or, like, people stealing stuff, stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. you want to talk a little about that? Yeah, like, niggas, n- niggas either... So basically, like, when it comes up to Swagger Jack and niggas, niggas would... Try to try their best to either paint a persona or paint a picture of something that they not, and it's like me personally. I feel like me, I'm genuine. My friends are genuine. People around me that I do keep around me are genuine. But the people that don't give props and the people that do try to like be somebody they not, they they pushing it to the limits of where it's like it's a dangerous game. You feel me? Like it's not it's not nothing to to like joke around or feed around, but it's dead ass like. It's it's what we we see every day. We see everybody going on ahead and either posting, let's say, drugs that ain't this, pounds that ain't this, money that ain't this. Probably they man's. It's they man's money. But what? Why? Because they want to keep this image and and try to show people somebody they not. And what do you think about how that translates to the music? Because a lot of people they have people writing their music for them or like Correct. things like that. Right. Like now, like now, I done had people ask me like to write they to write their own songs, to write hooks, to write eights for them. But it it be people that I don't even fuck with, just people that either listen to my music and then don't show love. Like so, for them to to ask me to write for them and then you don't even genuinely fuck with my music, well, to ask me if to write for you, you obviously do fuck with my music. But to not even be showing love or to be a supporter is crazy to me. But it does transpire in the music because people would try to, in their lyrics, either say they gang-banging, killing, doing this, this, and the third, pouring up, smoking this, and meanwhile, they still in their mom's crib. Mm. And I know also, well, first of all, I just want to say, I feel like I need to say congratulations. Just the fact that when I posted asking for artists, so many people hit me up to interview you. Like, they were like, DMing me, bothering me about it. <laughs> when I interview people before you, they're like, where's he at? How come you didn't interview him yet? Like, somebody hit me like that. So, but I know you were saying that you don't get support from like your friends sometimes, but you had so much support like in that way. So, so by like the support that like I genuinely want is obviously my parents. Like everybody would want their parents to be on their back, to be pushing them to do the best. Like me personally, I was growing, I grew up a baseball player. You feel me? I was always to and from practice, basketball, baseball, football, you name it. Like, but once. That wasn't their dream for me, and they seen I wasn't trying to go that route no more. They decided, like, nigga, you, you got to fend for yourself. Do it on your own. 
So it's again like the support would I always wanted it to come from my parents. But mainly right now, this main support and my main backbone and my structure, and I'm giving that all the way to my baby mother. Like that's what's up. And then in terms of have you ever been like a part of a collective or like a group of other artists or producers that she was working with? Yeah. I've been my origin I originated from Yen twenty four K. Yoshi, Zali, Kato, Chris, all them niggas. But now, now I done branched off and decided to, you know, I got to create a, a name for myself, especially if I want to be in the limelight as well. I can't bask in no shadows. And if somebody's just going to introduce you, how would you kind of define yourself as an artist or, like, your style? Unorthodox. Like, me, I, I, I paint a picture with words, especially, like, once you listen to my shit, you can tell, like, it's coming from the heart. It's coming from the mind, so everything. Like, I'm really feeling this shit, so you can really feel the tempos. I'm, I, shit, I'm even rapping, and I, I I forget to breathe. Like, so, again, is it, I consider myself unorthodox to the point where I, I combine all my inspirations into one and just flow on the beat. That's fire. And then what do you feel in terms of, like, being an artist coming out of New York? Do you feel like? Do you feel like you have a better chance in tapping in with other cities because you're not just doing drill? Because, you know, our sound right now in New York is pretty much drill. So, To be honest with you, is it, I feel like it's, it's, it's definitely hard coming out, especially with, like, now that it's drill all around, drill is not even going to be able to, like, push me in into the, the, the direction that I want. You feel me? Like, right now drill is, is taking over, but I give it, like, three probably two years max but my sound I feel like it's timeless somebody could describe me in, in each and in every way I'm gonna make you happy while you smoking and you have any dream collaborations like anybody you really wanna work with it, it could be somebody I already worked with yeah, it could yeah. Be, well yeah just uh, some some type of project oh. you wanna work on with somebody man I wanna do a whole tape of Walk and Tech again right a whole tape of him man free Walk and Tech Man, I'm 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 waiting for that day. It's on countdown. <laughs> but my dream, dream, dream collab, it it definitely got to be the Chance the Rapper, Smino, or like I said, um, Destroy Destroy Lonely. And so, how other artists watching? Like, how do you feel that you got yourself to the point where people are like really rooting for you and like begging for you to get interviewed? Like, what? How did you build yourself up to that point? Being authentic, like authentic as hell. I, people meet me and they already see like a different kind of energy. Like, I'm I'm so welcoming and it, it, I give off a positive energy. So for an, for anybody who is trying to be an artist or want to be an artist, I'm just telling you, just be yourself. Don't even try to try to follow trends. Don't even try to try to be somebody you're not. Go ahead and just paint your own your own wave. Stay in your own lane. Don't swerve out of it. And do you have any projects coming out? Anything you're working on you want people to know about? I got two pro I got two projects coming out so far. Um I'm a I was actually gonna redrop my um my um Perks and Heartbreaks tape. And I was also gonna drop my Jersey Club tape. Um that that's like a calm little E P. That's like five, six songs. But my Perks and Heartbreaks song, that's like nine, ten songs on there. And you have any videos dropping soon or anything else we could look out for? I have two more. I apologize. I have two more videos, actually, coming out. But Paradise just dropped not too long ago, so don't forget to tune into that. And you have any last, like, words of inspiration for artists that are trying to make it? And do your thing, bro. Don't even don't even let nobody tell you what you can or cannot do. It's more on the type of time you set your own limit, your own boundaries, your own like I said, just stay in your own lane. At the end of the day, you just gotta make sure you're not not and I promise you, I can't stress this enough. Do not be somebody you're not. Be authentic and actually paint your life and who you wanna be. And now we're just gonna do the drop so you can just Say your name, and then you could plug whatever you want, and then just at the end say, and I, I'm here with your plug's favorite or something with your plug's favorite. Oh, man. All right. So, wait, so just say my name, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ghetto Meach? No, nah, like, like, say, I'm, this is Ghetto Meach, I'm here, like, say shit. Oh, uh, so, like, flavor. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. What it is, it's Ghetto Meach, you know, I'm here with plug's favorite, how it is.
All right, we're going to do it one more time. We're going to say, like, what's up? It's going to be check out That's my it. latest. Like, right. plug yourself in the middle. And I'm here with your plus favorite. So they know. Because I'm going to run an ad on it separate. So they got. All right, so what's up? It's ghetto me. You know, fuck. It's all right. All right. You know, <laughs> take you know, everybody. Like, like, I try to think, like, <laughs> all right, I got to be smooth with it. Think so of what like, you want people to, cl- like, if people don't know you, what would you want them to go to first? Like, is it a certain video that you're pushing right now or, like? What it is, is ghetto me. Don't forget to tune into my video, Paradise, on YouTube. I'm here with your plug's favorite. All right. All right.